Out of the flatness of the northeastern Free State and Northwest Province rises the Frida Fort Dome. The Frida Fort Dome is a world heritage site that covers almost 30,000 hectares on both sides of the river. The hills, valleys and grasslands were created by a meteorite more than 2,000 million years ago. Today, this unique terrain offers opportunities for a wide variety of activities, for the serious adventurer and casual tourist alike. All the magnificent features of the dome may be overwhelming to the first-time visitor. A short list of the best sites will send you on the right track. The Val River curls like a giant snake through the Freira Fort Dome. Some of the most spectacular views of the river can be seen from high vantage points. As the second largest river in South Africa, the Val River is a visual marvel with an abundance of plant and animal life. From the enchanting, misty river banks in the early mornings to the peaceful hum of the late afternoons, the charm of the Val River is undeniable. The river forms the border between the Northwest and Free State provinces, and it is the only major waterway in the world that flows through a meteorite impact crater. Depending on the season, the horseshoe flow of the Val varies from tranquil waters to perilous white water zones, making it an adrenaline junkie's dream. The Freda Fort Dome is a well-known fly fishing spot, popular for yellowfish in particular. The area provides perfect fishing conditions and beautiful, serene surroundings, making it worthwhile regardless of the size of your catch of the day. The less skilled anglers may also try their hands at other types of fishing. The endless hills and valleys provide the perfect setting for people who find peace or excitement at a higher level. Paris is the entertainment center of the dome. During weekends, the quiet town bursts to life when visitors from cities nearby flock to the many attractions offered by the small free state town. Founded by a French engineer, who named this place after its namesake in France. 
The town does not only share a name with its European partner, but it is also a kindred spirit to one of the world's art capitals. I've been here for nine years and we attract a lot of people from the countryside that loves the shop. From Cape Town, they've seen us over television a lot of years and there's a lot of people on the river also with nice beautiful houses, they shop all from us. Barese's ability to inspire artistic creativity is undeniable. Many artists have set up studio in Paris and the wide range of galleries offer something to suit every taste. Some galleries house the works of contemporary artists now living in Paris, while others boast collections of works by some of South Africa's leading artists of today and yesteryear. Paris is becoming more and more an artist mecca, both local artists and apart from that in our galleries you'll find even international art, uh, superior South African art, art masters. We also have uh, an art piece here of, of uh, high value, especially not just in, in uh, grant value, but as a South African master. Uh, the work by Maggie Lobsha, a self-portrait of uh, 1924. Tourists visiting Paris will soon come across many shops dedicated to the souvenirs of the past. With a variety of antique shops, the town has become a mecca for discerning collectors. Paris also has a host of quaint pawn shops with amazing collections of memorabilia and curiosities. Before entering the Free State Province, one will find a shop from a bygone era. A visit to Jalalpur is a must. Foreigners visit South Africa and they make a special trip from Johannesburg to come and see the shop that they saw on the, on the TV. We are on the tourist advertising in Europe and the tourist advertising in America. We are here since 1929. In the olden days, Indians were prohibited from owning property in the Free State. That was an arrangement they had with Paul Krieger. And he gave them, in each town in the Transvaal, a place for the Indians, on condition that they wouldn't interfere with the Free State. Paris is also the home of a group of well-known fashion designers that chose to trade the hustle and bustle of the city for the tranquil setting of Paris. Whether you want to buy something off the rack for that special occasion or have a design from scratch, Paris designers have a reputation for being at the forefront of everything elegant and the most stylish new trends. It's big city fashion in the heart of the country. Paris is also a popular wedding destination. The town has a variety of venues and settings that will satisfy most individual fancies. The Frede for Dome is home to two scenic golf courses. Both estates are located on islands in the Val River, which gives golfers the added bonus of playing in two provinces at once. A round of golf in the Dome offers the best of both worlds, with scenery shifting between the breathtaking views of the Val River and the Fredefort mountain lands. Most lodges are located on the banks of the Val River, taking full advantage of its picturesque vista. Those who seek ultimate privacy and luxury can find it in the pristine mountain lands. 
Most of these lodges were built to complement the landscape. Another attraction of the dome is the game farms. These farms introduced a variety of large game into the area. Besides luxurious accommodation, the game farms also offer close-up views of magnificent species. The Fredefort Dome is one of the few places in South Africa that is close to a metropolitan area where one can experience a complete breakaway. This World Heritage Site, created by a meteorite explosion 2,000 million years ago, is in all aspects a dome that rocks.